Hello and welcome to this day in history for February 22nd. February 22nd is the 53rd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar with 312 days remaining until the end of the year unless it's a leap year in which case there are 313 days remaining to the end of the year. I failed to acquire a word for today so word of the day gets a day off. <laughs> And we'll just jump right into the history part. And the first item is that uh, this is the birthday of George Washington, the father of our country, who was born on February 22nd, 1732. On February 22nd of 1819, the United States acquired Spanish Florida in the Florida Purchase Treaty. On February 22, 1855, the Pennsylvania State University was founded in State College, Pennsylvania, originally as the Farmers High School of Pennsylvania. On this day in 1878 in Utica, New York, Frank Woolworth opened the first of many five and dime Woolworth stores. On this day in 1889, President Grover Cleveland signed a bill admitting North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, and Washington as U.S. states. This is the birthday of American poet and playwright Edna St. Vincent Millay, born on February 22, 1892. She lived to the age of 58. Also the birthday of American actor, director, and producer Sheldon Leonard, born on February 22, 1907. He lived to the age of 89. And the birthday of actor Robert Young, best known for his leading roles as the father character in the TV show Father Knows Best and the physician Marcus Welby in the TV show Marcus Welby, M.D. He was born on February 22, 1907 and lived to the age of 91. On February 22, 1917, Benito Mussolini was wounded by an accidental explosion of a mortar bomb. Now, this was during World War I, well before he achieved the infamy that he acquired in World War II. Today seems to be the birthday of a good number of creatives and show business people. There was a long list. I'm just not even touching the surface, but I wanted to mention... Marnie Nixon, born on February 22, 1930. One of her jobs is described as that of a ghost singer. She was the singing voice of Deborah Kerr and the King and I, Natalie Wood and West Side Story, and Audrey Hepburn in My Fair Lady. Although her parts in these movies were kept secret from the audience at the time that the films were released. She lived to the age of 86. On February 22, 1942, President Roosevelt ordered <laughs> General MacArthur to get out of the Philippines. And we mentioned the White Rose Resistance the other day. On February 22, 1943, Sophie Scholl, Hans Scholl, and Christoph Probst were executed in Nazi Germany. On February 22nd, a document known as the Long Telegram, an 8,000-word telegram describing the diplomat George Keenan's views on the Soviet Union and U.S. policy toward the communist state, or what he felt that U.S. policy ought to be, uh, he had some suggestions as to how the United States ought to deal with the Soviet Union. This long telegram was sent to Washington, D.C., on February 22, 1959, Lee Petty won the first Daytona 500 race. It literally was a photo finish. Someone else was declared the winner first, and he protested it, and they, they were able to determine who actually crossed the finish line first from uh, photos that had been taken there. They didn't have a camera set up at the finish line, but there were photos taken, and he was declared the winner. On February 22, 1968, the Tet Offensive ended in the Vietnam War. On February 22, 1980, the U.S. Olympic hockey team defeated the four-time defending gold medal winning Soviet team at the 13th Olympic Winter Games in Lake Placid, New York. 
this win has been called the miracle on ice. On February 22, 2014, the drug kingpin known as El Chapo was captured in Mexico. And that's all I have for you today. As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share if you found this video interesting or entertaining. And uh, we'll get back to the word of the day tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, thanks again and I'll see you next time. All right, just read that over. I'll have to go take a look at that again. <sighs> so many mistakes. We're not going to go into all that. Okay. This is what happens when we go off script. <laughs> I don't know how all that's going to go together or if it's even going to make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not going to go. Probably cut all that out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video. We'll see. Changing it up. <laughs>